From the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, this is Ares Launch Control at T minus 2 hours, 38 minutes, 15 seconds, and counting. The launch of the Ares 1X is on schedule for 8 a.m. Eastern Time this morning at the opening of a four hour launch window. The countdown for the launch team began at 1 a.m. this morning. The upper stage access arm is about to be retracted away from the vehicle and following that the next major milestone in the countdown is the retraction of the gantry-like rotating service structure at 5.25 a.m. which is providing much of the primary access to uh, the lower portion of the vehicle. The launch today is being controlled from the Young Crippen Firing Room in the Launch Control Center, that is Firing Room 1 here at Complex 39, with the launch support team located at the Mission Director Center on Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in NASA Hangar AE. The countdown began at 1 a.m. this morning when work to power up the Ares 1X flight test vehicle began. Since then, guidance and navigation system checkout has been underway. Also, purge and bellicles for the various environmental control systems that provide cool, dry air are being disconnected from the vehicle. That activity is just concluding. And just completed is the alignment of the inertial navigation system, and navigation testing is now underway. Coming up after the rotating service structure has been pulled back, the TEL-4 tracking station will align its antenna with the rocket, and there will be a checkout of the tracking, data, and telemetry systems. And there will also be some software checks of the flight computer, some of which are already underway. Right now, checks with the Eastern Range have begun. That began just a few minutes ago. And also, there will be a first motion check. That's a verification of the sensor on the uh, launch pad that verifies that uh, Ares 1X has, in fact, lifted off and the exact time that it lifted off. Weather-wise, our forecast is unchanged from what we've been seeing the last couple of days. There is a 60% chance of not meeting the launch weather criteria, primarily due to a chance for flight through precipitation and uh, the uh, Tribioelectric rule that is a relatively unfamiliar flight rule to uh, to many, and uh, this essentially is uh, dealing with a uh, condition that's associated with a static electricity, a charging that can build up on the fairing that can disrupt signals. At T minus two minutes, 34 minutes, 17 seconds, and counting, this is Aries Launch Control.